Hello everyone, welcome back to our another Pillar Pilot stream. Today we're going to be flying, or rather, we're going to be driving our way um, down the main main line. So we're going to be making our way along Isle of Wight today, starting our way from uh, one of the nice stations on in the winter, rather, on the island. And we'll be uh, choo-chooing along in the Invincible class all the way uh, to the end of the little branch line it runs on, and then back. So that should be good fun. Nice to see Concord4356 in the chat, and Daniel B, hello. Welcome in on. Uh, I'm just getting yes. bits and bobs sorted out, but that should be good fun. We'll get cracking. You see the pillar pilot ban there. Doesn't really do anything in train sim, but let's get cracking, shall we? So here we are. This is the game. This is a train sim classic. So quite an old one. And you can see what we're up to today. We're driving the Santa Special on a, a snowy late December afternoon. Fresh snow. Uh, return trip to Wooden, starting from Smallbrook Junction. Uh, sounds all right. Might have a quick go at that, and then we'll have a go at some other bits and bobs. So we'll have a nice little chug around in the train. Should be good fun. Let's get cracking. Brilliant. So yeah, Train Sim Classic. It was originally, I think, released in 2013, and uh, so it's quite good fun. I think, uh, or at least I got it when it was uh, Train Sim 2013, so a while ago now. Uh, but uh, a very good fly, a very good uh, train sim, rather. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. it. Should be good fun. We haven't done a train sim in a, a train sim ever on Pillow Pilot, so I thought, you know what? Maybe it's time to do so. Right? If we just uh, zoom out here, here's our lovely engine. Oh, everyone's on board. That's all the been gems. Yeah, right. Look at that a beautiful, beautiful little steam train that we're looking forward to being u to using. This is our little uh, little engine. And we've got two cars on today. And then we are on the Isle of Wight, so we've got to go via Ashley. Then that means we stop, pick up from there, pick up from there, spin ourselves round. That it looks like. Then make our way back, get some water, and come all the way back down to where we started. So a nice trip there and back for us today. Danny B, you're just wondering now, uh, when are you going to accelerate in Concord, London to Helsinki? Uh, it's going to be the 11th, um, the 11th. Oh, and then I meant to say, everyone, I'm really sorry. Tomorrow's stream is going to be pushed back to Sunday instead. I'm really sorry if that messes all up. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be unable to uh, to stream the other time. But yeah, it, one week. So it'll be on uh, the Saturday at 1 o'clock for that Concord stream. We're going to be shooting from uh, London to Helsinki. When are you going? Yes, so that will be the plan. Choo choo deed. Are we be doing much train sim in the future? I'd like to. I'd like to. It'd be quite good fun, I think. Um, it's quite a fun little game. It'd be quite good fun, I think. Right. Let's just get some sound up on train sim here. Is that, is that good enough? I'm sure we go. So. Oh yeah, that's loud. We turn it down a little bit. There we go. Hope that's a little bit better. Turn myself down a bit. There we go. That's good. Right, so lights on. I'm sort of half using this board and uh, the other one, so have a bit of fun. Oh, I mean, Super Sonic Acceleration looks like. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so we're going to. Well, the other original one up to Ravenny did a quick trip up across the North Sea. Shoot, we'll shoot Super Sonic there. Um, we'll sort of dap Super Sonic, but then also sort of be mainly subsonic. It could be, you know, be a bit of fun, I think. Right, let's get this thing cracking. So I think it's been a while since I've driven this train, so it could be quite interesting. Right, uh, fire will open up. Uh, release the brakes. Shove on the accelerator, I think. And then uh, open up the throttle there. That's the throttle there. Uh, oh, oh, well, we've got movement. We are, we're moving. We're hey, hey. Hey, look at that. Ain't that nice. How lovely. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to leave it to you guys. We might be doing a, another stream uh, uh, or carrying on later onto a route of our choosing. Right now, if I bring back the throttle, I think and open up that a bit more. Pick up that. Balance the two. Never quite remember. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's accelerated. Nice. ETS 2 in the future. ETS 2. We'll certainly be having a look at that. That should be good fun. Yeah. I agree. Have a little look at ETS too. That's quite good fun. I'm certainly, I'm, you know, up to the idea now of branching out to other flight, other not flight, <laughs> other sims. That could be definitely could be good fun. I keep bringing that back. Oh look, and here we are. 
What a beautiful day to be a. Uh, or in, in trade sim, beautiful day to be uh, to be going along. That is lovely. I hate. We're oh, going up a hill here. Oh, so the speed limit is 20 along all of this line. So I'm not allowed any faster than that. So there we go. That's our maximum speed. But you can see it's quite long. Um, but yeah, look at that. We're about to long. I'll get the uh, there. Just try and hold the speed nicely, I suppose. What's the pressure? That pressure. Ah, so we don't want it to go above 160 ish. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> okay, a little bit confused about that flight. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, that could be quite good fun. Is this set the fastest current? Uh, well, this is um, this game's slightly old, so it's from about 2013. So it could be slightly older than uh, the sun, but I, I doubt it's changed very much. This little, uh, this little steam line is quite nice. <laughs> A little bit confused about that flight. Okay, no worries. Well, uh, towards the time, we'll start looking at what the route's going to be like and what we're up to on that one. So, so we'll, we'll, you know, as we get closer to the time on that one, we'll have a little, a little look. Um, so this is the branch line. So on the on the main, if we zoom out, main letter of Isle of Wight, you've got the uh, the pier head up there, all the way down to Shanklin on the oh, far side of the island. That's the main run, operated by the uh, X uh, tube trains, and then we're on the little branch line in our Santa special for today. So that's quite good fun. Very nice, though. A nice little poodle. Right, I'm going to put up a poll for what we should be up to uh, in a bit. Let's have a little look. Do we want to do a quick London to Brighton? And Brighton, or would we be interested in doing some more? Uh, uh, tube trains. Oh, I've been popped inside. Ah, we went through a tunnel. That's fine. Lovely. Nice little journey here. So we're on a career mode currently in, in, in train sim. Just open up the throttle a bit there up the hill. Hey, balanced nicely. Uh, no worries. Oh, sorry. So I missed check. Current at uh, Alex. <laughs> It'd be easy if Denmark wasn't in that location. It would be, wouldn't it, Daniel? <laughs> it would be if Denmark weren't there. Maybe we can see if we can get permission to go over. <laughs> to Denmark is problematic. <laughs> Always found the tubes really cool. Yeah, they'll be cool, won't they? We'll have a little go. Unfortunately, I didn't. Think we'd act, we're not on the actual tube, but um, we'll certainly be driving the older trains. But unfortunately, only around the Isle of Wight. It's still quite good fun, though. Not bad. That's a nice little little train. This one. Have you got carriage view? Oh, we have. Ah, uh, my favourite favourite guy. Look at that. <laughs> the quality of the graphics well, is quite amusing. It, uh, yeah, it's not, I suppose, what we'd expect from stuff we see now, is it? That's good fun. Oh, so this is the map along the bottom. Wow, we're approaching Ashley. Right. Okay. Stick our heads out. This is our little views down here. Open doors, horn, whistle, uh, emergency brake, and wipers. I don't know if we have any. This is to open the fire engage the water and this is our current pressure we don't want to exceed 160 if it's green it's going up if it's red it's going down all right we'll start to slow down i guess if it says go via actually do we need to stop or do we just shoot through so this is our like menu uh, i know it says pick up passage oh okay we're just going through all right well oh we're exceeding the speed limit ah junctions have been set accordingly okay uh -oh, we exceed the speed limit. Look, we've lost some points. That's not good. So we'll we open it back up again. The tube my second obsession. The first aviation especially called. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Brilliant, yeah. I mean, come on, if we had. We, I love flying it. That's, uh, that's why this route up to uh, Helsinki could be a bit interesting, but uh, it'll be quite good fun, I think. So. <laughs> oh, trying to control the speed here along. I'm losing loads of points. Uh, right, brakes. And throttle. Brakes. Then we'll leave it there. Oh, bit of brake. Bit of brake. Ah! I'm not very good. <laughs> Controlling the speed will get better as we go along here today. It's certainly an interesting balance. Should we try and... I think we can do the throttle from within. There, there. There's a clip point now there. You can open the throttle up from within. And where's the brake? Oh, there. Right. About that. Oh, I think I think I'll stick to my little uh, my little uh, timing here. Nice little uh, little winter setting here. I've not I'll be honest I've not played it in this setting before, but it's uh, certainly very nice. All right, we'll turn on the water, which makes a horrific noise, but uh, we've got to keep the water going through the boiler. Nice little train, so southern. So I think this used to be southern rails trains, did it? Got to do a little bit of research on this old, uh, this old invincible train. Oh, getting in the trees here. Is that a platform up ahead? No, nice signal box. So uh, I, the Isle of Wight has these, this little branch line for this engine, which they use um, to to show the steam engine off, and it's where it runs. It uh, isn't allowed on the main line. It only goes out for show, show occasions and things. Uh, but it mainly sticks on this little branch line, where it uh, goes back and forth, demonstrating how good, um, how good the steam well is. It's a a bit like the Bluebell Railway that we have down south, and then uh, the Great Western. Um, was it Great Western? Yeah, yeah that they sort of recreation railway Great Western that uh, they have up north, and that's that's kind of the two. I think it's it's a it's a really nice idea, and um, certainly for this, it's good fun. Have I ever considered a face reveal? Not yet, not yet. Uh, maybe, maybe later, maybe later. At the moment, we're happy how we are. Crazy idea. Maybe we could go to Mac Two out from uh, out from the Thames Estuary to South Denmark. Decelerate before we hit Denmark. Oh, over speeding. Ooh, bit of break. Decelerate before we hit Denmark and accelerate for second time. Obviously, that'd be quite good fun. Why not? I mean, you know, the passengers are, are perfectly happy to do whatever. Do you know what I mean? They they just want the experience of a lifetime on Concord. So, I'm sure they we could definitely do that. That'd be great fun. Two supersonic accelerations as well. How cool. Yeah, that'd be good fun, actually. See if we can, I'll try and make a route on Navigraph like, when I get some time this week and uh, see if we can have, have a bit of fun seeing where we can go. Right, I'm balancing the brake here. I want to balance it with a bit of a, a bit of braking, but also trying to keep the speed uh, under control. We've got the station up ahead of us. There it is. So the, the the difficulty of this one was rated a, a, an amber. I'm not really sure. Well, <laughs> not really. I don't know if trains go that fast. But uh, 20 miles an hour. You know, we're really pushing it here. <laughs> oh God, I'm going over speeding again. I'm not. I'm not good. Right. So if we kill the throttle there, we're going to start to lose a bit of speed into the station. I'll just keep a little bit on, just so it doesn't die completely. Right. There we go. Throttle off. Bit of break. Let's bring the speed down. Yeah, yeah, go on, Daniel. Yeah, fifth, yeah, make a route. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be probably playing a bit of flight some later this evening. So feel free to hop on the Discord, guys. Links in the description. If it doesn't work, let me know. And uh, yeah, come say hi if you're interested in doing some flying later or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, definitely make that route. That'd be good. Right, a bit of braking. I guess this is our first stop of the day. I don't know where we're supposed to stop, but I guess here we'll sort of do. Bit of braking, bit of braking. There we go. Open the doors and welcome to our first little little stop of the tour. Haven Street Up Loop. Again, free view. Oh, there we go. There's some cool stuff around here. Looks. So we got, of course, our little steam train. Looks like cafe. What else is there? It's quite detailed for this for this kind of a game. I'm very impressed. I can even test it. Yeah. Yeah, he certainly could. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this relaxed guy. Hey. Hey, he was just on our train, wasn't he? <laughs> Wander across the tracks. To the far side. Oh, there's also someone else. A little ticket booth. Oh, there's also little uh, freight cars. Oh, cool. A coal depot. I think we'll be refilling later, so that's quite good. The percentage at the, ton here, at the top here, we've got 0.38 tonnes of coal left and 564 of water, so not too bad. Some get off, so look, there you go. Passengers have the opportunity to get off here to browse the station and catch the returning train instead of going to Witten. Some st some get off, but most stay seated. Well, very nice. Right. Okay, well, if we uh, go back to the start, so open the throttle up to full, release the brake, and let's get cracking. Gentle bit of acceleration. I don't want to jerk everyone. We'll pull the carriages apart because, of course, under braking they've been squeezed together. Gently pull them apart. There we go. They're stretched apart. And we'll open up the throttle to full. There we go. Opened up. And there we go. Start to bring back the uh, throttle. A train could go maximum of one the back. Mac one sick, they're falling at terminal velocity. Well, thank you very much for that. That's <laughs> very interesting. Uh, well, um, it's a good fact to have. <laughs> there we go through. We'll open up the fire. We'll keep that nice and soaked. We'll start to keep bringing back the throttle. Don't want to go too quick. We'll hop on board the train. Don't want to go too quick around this little bend here. Oh, we're supposed to be in Wooten at 12.33 there, and it's 1.42 miles. Our ETA is predicted at the moment as 12.33.11. Uh, it's currently 12.28 in the game. So Five minutes, not bad. And then I believe we've got some shuffling to do. Wooten, yeah, we dropped the cars off because it's the end of the line. We're going to do some shuffling, go to the end, spin round, come back, spin round and grab some more. So that could be quite interesting. Right, there we go. We're up and running again. Right, so I want to drop it there and then I back off the throttle. That gives me a good... Good option there. <laughs> Passengers wouldn't like it much, though. <laughs> no, that's very true, Mr. McLeod. That's very true. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be great, would it? Oh, 21. Oh. Speeding. Oh, goodness me, I'm not very good at keeping to speed them, am I? And there we go. So if I turn off the throttle, we get a lovely little quiet trip down the line. How nice! It is certainly a nice looking steam engine, I think. A saddle tank, I believe. And it's uh, certainly a good little looking train. I'm not, you know, we stick to mostly planes on this channel, so I don't really know too much. But <laughs> Although, we, we did do bus simulator a while ago, didn't we? Don't have any non RNF stars. Yeah, they don't, do they? So my plan is just to um, we'll have to put one of them into the INS. Um, not all the waypoints on it, of course, but a couple of them, sort of on the arrival to get us to get us in. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, we'll have to, that'll have to do. Right, just bring back the throttle there so we don't overspeed. So we're chugging along nicely here. The pressure gauges up here will seem all good. That's precious. Okay. That's the pressure we're going off, I think. And then if I switch side, where's the speedo? Is there a speedo? I don't know. It doesn't appear to be. I guess they, do they just sort of visually judge it? <laughs> well, bus sim streams. Ah, well, that could be an interesting one to do, isn't it? ETS2, is that, is that more bus? Is that a bus simulator? Is that a coach one? ETS2 it is, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, no, you're a truck sim. You're a truck sim, of course. Right, all right. Yes, okay, well, yeah, yeah, ETS2 is good. Sometimes ATC give you different stuff. Yeah, well, I think I think if we say to them, we say to them, you know, look, we're unable to change our star. We could do headings, though. You know what I mean? We could ask for vectors or whatever at that point. Um, like I say, we are able vectors, but uh, I think it would be pretty unfair to, especially, they know Concord, like, you know, it's not exactly an easy plane. <laughs> right, there you go, so it's venting now, and you can see the pressure's dropping. The train's venting because um, we've uh, we've gone through. Hopefully, you can hear me all right, sound-wise. But we've uh, we've got the pressure built up too high, so now it's venting out uh, all the uh, 
all the pressure. It's quite good, automatic valve system. It's quite impressive, that. For a little train to have that, it's quite good. When the pressure just gets too much, the little valve opens up and it'll go. Next flight's going to be on the uh, Concorde. Ah, no, we're doing the Flight Factor A350 uh, from L Helsinki to London. And then the week after, we're doing London to Helsinki in Concorde. Um, because I was having a little go practicing at that Flight Factor stream, and I thought, wow, this is, you know, the, the seasonal effects in um, x are really something, 11, uh, sorry, x 12, sorry, are really something to show off. And uh, it'd be good fun to land Concorde, because it's uh, a bit tricky. So I thought that'd be quite good fun. If that's all right with you guys, I thought that'd be quite, quite a nice little stream. Uh, if you don't like it, just say, and we'll switch, you know, to to some other place. I'll try and find maybe Bahrain or, or Barbados or something like that. So, yeah. Right, we'll kill the throttle. I had the brakes, and we'll switch to the other view, actually. Hit a bit of a braking there. We'll bring ourselves down to a nice stop in the station. Here we go. Speed's coming back. Don't want to stop too early, but I do want to stop. Down to nine miles an hour, and then we'll bring it into braking here. We want to stop before the tracks merge, of course. Whoop. There we go. That's not bad at all, actually. There we go. Right. Doors open. Okay. Welcome to Wooten. So this is the end of the line. We zoom out rapidly. I uh, can't quite see the sea. But uh, essentially, yeah, that's the end of the line for the steam, for the little train. It's not a very long run. As you can tell, it's only about <laughs> four or five miles or so. So it's always quite good fun. Um, so it's uh, that's why we've got time for another route, of course, afterwards. But I thought this would be a nice little one to showcase, you know, it's quite a detailed little sim, you know. You watch the pistons flying yeah. around. Very impressive little thing. Um, so certainly good fun. Lovely. I believe we're going to uncouple here. Let's see what the instructions are. Allow people to switch left and to turn the top. Uncouple the carriages and stop at wooden line and briefly. Right. Okay. So, coupling menu. Yeah. Uncouple the front one there. Wait, there we go. We're now separate. So, if I release the brakes, we get shuffling forward slightly here. Yeah. Oop. There we go. Shuffle forward just a little bit. Don't want to go too quick, of course, we're heading towards the end of the line. Like Kill it there. Just slowly chug along. Not really, Ooh, so far nine, it's, uh, it's getting close between the uh, the Brighton the Brighton line. He borrowed, he had a specialty on the turn, so we normally fib him, yeah. Ah! I suppose it's, uh, yeah, well, I suppose if you don't know the procedures, it is a bit, you know, odd. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, almost hit the end of there. <laughs> Not paying attention. Oh, no, we still had a bit of room. Right, we've stopped in the line end. I wonder why I want to stop there. Okay, so if we reverse, <laughs> we'll get cracking the other direction. Right. Oh, there we go. Right, head through the loops to so you can couple the carriages. Ah, okay, right, so brakes released, throttle up, and the Opposite direction. Do I need to switch the points actually, or does it do it? For no, it's done it for me. Okay. Oh, I'll open up the throttle and get cracking backwards. You can open up it a little bit here as it can go quite quick. It's just us. There's nothing really in the way as well. If we get it wrong, we just shoot off down the line, so we can go quite quickly. Don't want to go too quick now. There we go. Quick shuffle around the side of the line. <laughs> Lovely. I've been to see a couple of steam trains, you know, like the Blue Bell Railway and things, and uh, fantastic little, fantastic uh, to see them doing that, so it's quite good fun to do it. Well, there we go. Right, we're round. So, a bit of braking. Come to a stop. Oh, operational error. What did I do? What's my error? I went outside of the wooden approach. Oh, God, goodness me. That's not happy with me for that, is it? 250 points, goodness me. 
That's bad. I didn't think they did anything that badly. All right. My bad. Wait for nothing. Go back on the other direction. Oh, it's got power up the hill here. Oh, look at the pistons going around. That is lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That hopped in the cab. All leaning outside the cab. Right, we'll kill the throttle there. We don't want to slam into these coaches. Bit of application of a brake here. Right, if I go into coupling view, just get a nice uh, sort of top view down of the train. Right, lots of brake, lots of brake. Ah, uh, going quickly. There we go, right. Bit of power. Oh, the smoke's blocking my view. I have to do this the visual way. Look down there. <laughs> right, there's the pads etching closer. Whoop. Bit quick. That's all right. There we go. Right, we've bumped into them. Connect. There we go. Set out for Harvard Street when ready. Brilliant. <laughs> right, we'll get going in the opposite direction then. Uh, just check this. Uh, Kfuzzle, hi, hi. <laughs> Been on the Blue Bell Railway so many times, right? The station at the East Green says. Yeah, it's quite cool that, isn't it? And the same sort of here, we're linked onto the uh, the other one. Right, so reverse. We'll open it up. We'll say ciao to Wooden. Go back down the line in the opposite direction. You can see, of course, now they say, you know, why is the engine not facing the right way? And, uh, we haven't got a turntable, unfortunately, so best we can do, otherwise we'd be pushing it. We kind of want to pull, I think. Alright, oh, we'll open it up. Let's get a crack in. Might as well get accelerating up. Hey, hey, hey! 19, oh. Kill the throttle, we're going downhill. Uh oh, we're going over speed. Right, break, 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 break. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the best driver. This isn't by no means. <laughs> but, hey, well, if I get fun. Oh, it's like speeding again, speeding. Bit of brake, bit of brake. There we go. Brake release, bit of throttle. It uh, very, really wanders, you know. If you if you hit brakes, it'll keep accelerating for a while until you until you carry on again. Right, bit of brake, bit of brake, bit of brake. How lovely, though. Very, very bright. <laughs> the snow is incredibly bright. Oh, I've let the brake go on a bit. Anyway, you can see on the map then, we are heading. Here we are. We're heading up uh, back down to Haven Street Up Loop, where apparently we need to stop for water and supplies. So we'll, we might as well use up some of our water by turning that tap on. Bad noise, but uh, unfortunately needed. Oh, it's swung in the opposite direction. Everybody wants to do the London to Brighton line instead. Wow. Rather than the uh, rather than go for the little tube trains on the Isle of Wight. Ooh. Get your votes in if you, uh, you you want us to stick on the Isle of Wight for today. Oh, there we go. That's the whistle. I hadn't tried that yet. That's a nice little whistle. It's quite uh, quite a big one for a little engine. Lovely. Right, we're shooting along then. Very nice. So, don't want the pressure to build too much. It's funny that uh, the engine facing the wrong way. Of course, it's you know, <laughs> it's facing the wrong way, though, isn't it? And then there, that's a good view to see the see the pistons are in opposite directions. Of course, has to be so so that you can get power at all moments in time. If that makes sense. If one slips, the other's still going. And then yeah, don't you get a constant level of power? You get a chuka 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 chuka, so you can keep keep getting the power. As they both went at once, getting going would be quite difficult because they're both going up at the same time. So you need that opposite. But it's quite cool to see it there. You don't normally get to see that kind of thing. Here we go, shooting across the tracks. So ah, on the map there, 0.5 to Haven Street up loop. 
There goes the venting as the pressure's got a little bit high. I'll back off the throttle just a tad. Brilliant. Right, we're approaching Haven Street. I can't quite see it yet. I think it's just around the corner. Oh, little tunnel. Little peephole whistle. So if you've got a look, look outside you, the uh, smoke encasing the, uh, the top of the tunnel. <laughs> Brilliant. Very nice. Oh, if you're just joining us, we're just on our way back down the uh, the line. Having switched around at the other end, we're making our way back down uh, to go pick up some more passengers on our way back down to Smallbrook Junction, which is the uh, point where we join uh, the main line, um, which we won't be doing today as the steam train unfortunately is not allowed onto that main line. Um, but then the uh, poll at the top is to decide what we do next after we've finished our little journey today. Should be a bit of fun. Oh, we're over speeding yet again. Right, slam the brakes on. There we go. Right, coming to the station then. So, see if I can get this bit right. Oh, quite quick round the corner. Whoa. Right, bit of break. As yeah, if we do the London to Brighton, we're going much, much faster with 60, 70 miles an hour. So, as this is a, a sedate pace. <laughs> right, lots of braking there. Lots of braking to bring it to a stop. There we go. Whack open the doors. We're a little bit late. We're supposed to arrive at 42. We're 43. So we're, we're a tad late. It's just not very good. We've got to keep the speed up next time. We've got to be more quick in the manoeuvring. Hello. Right. So. It's cool little carriages we've got. See the proper traditional carriages. Very, very nice. <laughs> Brilliant. And then there's this maintenance train look down the side here. That's quite cool. Passenger boarding is complete and you now have a full train. And your final level journey is a small bit junction after taking on water at the tower ahead. Ooh. Do I do that with the with the train? That's yeah, yeah, it doesn't say uncouple. Okay. We'll just do that with the train then I guess. Oh, I need to throttle up first. There we go. Right, there we go. Oh, wrong way. Backwards. <laughs> Right, a bit of power up. Here we go. I don't want to go too quick here. We're just stopping right at this tower, I believe. Yep, this one here, 108 feet. Bit of brake. Right, a little bit further then. There. Nope. There. Nope. There. Is it happy with me here? Not quite. Oh, I thought it'd be happy with me there. No. <laughs> I think you've got to shuffle back a little bit. I can't quite get it in the right place. Right, there we go. Oh, right, release brake. Bit of power. Shuffle back a little bit further. There. Oh no, it doesn't seem happy now. We'll go forward a little bit. What about there? Do I need to cool something up? Do I need to ask it to do something? Oh, do I have to click on... Ah! Okay, very funny. I have to click on the water tanker. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> right, you get a long arc bridge to Smallbrook Junction at 12.57. So we're quite early for our little run. Our engine is full of water and ready to go. Ah, brilliant. Right, okay. Release the brakes. Open. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Open up. Nice and gentle again, not to startle any carriages. Everyone's moving at the same speed. Open it fully. Brilliant. And then we'll slowly allow the speed to increase. Take it nice and slow out the junction. Do 
Don't want to go too quick, you know. Don't want to overstress it or anything. There we go. We're back onto our little line. And we can open up fully. Start to accelerate up to 20. Very nice. So it looks like it's going to be the London to Brighton line next. Good fun. We won't do the whole thing. We'll do just sort of part of it, I think. And the whole thing, of course, takes, uh, takes a very long time. But uh, we certainly can do a bit of it. Very nice. Good little engine, look. Some good... Uh, So we're just looking back out that little window. <laughs> That's our way up. Very good. Oh, that's the uh, the wire for the... Uh, how do I push it back? Uh-oh. Oopsies. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's a whistle stuck on. Right, so pull it down and then push it back. <laughs> Oh, speeding. Woo. Bumpy little train when you go inside the cab view like that. Get a feel for it, it's uh, quite bumpy. <laughs> Film it, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Oh, open up the throttle there, get it moving. Oh, very nice. are of course going the wrong direction <laughs> this is the long stretch this bit going from uh, here through Ashley and all the way back it's quite a long little little leg we've got to go all the way back to Smallbrook down here so we've got to go quite a while that's quite good fun so yeah so our streams coming up then so we've got this uh, this flight factor uh, stream that uh, is our next one to be held that is going to be our trip from Helsinki down to London Heathrow so we're going to have a look at the seasonal features in x 12 uh, in in Helsinki which is really impressive uh, and we're going to be enjoying the Flight Factor A350's new uh, features in x 12 which are that it's got some good new rain effects and weather effects that we're going to be having a test out uh, I'd like to have a look at Thomas AC40 as well at some point in the near future not necessarily now um, so we'll definitely be looking at that later on because that's also got some cool new features in X-Plane 12 um, so we'll be checking them out at some point <laughs> so that's good fun uh, I'll be looking forward to having a little go at that that'll be good so this is that's our plan that's our plan and then we've got the Concord stream coming up which will be the week after uh, the next week um, in which my plan is to take us on a nice trip to uh, Helsinki uh, in Concord V3 because we want to see the more seasonal features that Helsinki has to offer um, but also landing it's quite a tricky flight to, to logistically and so it could be quite good fun to navigate our way up past Denmark and everything and touch down on the uh, snowy winter runway into Helsinki so uh, that would be quite good fun in Concord and also it will give us a chance to really test out the V3 and it's sort of interaction with the uh, other ILS's part, Kennedy. <laughs> Very nice. We're looking at currently being three minutes early. I've got a message. Ah, we're coming to Long Arch Bridge. I don't remember going through that. I must have been looking in the other direction. <laughs> right, well, that's a bit cool. Shoot through there. Oh, oh, speeding. Ah. Shove on the brakes. Open up the little firebox in the middle there. 
quite a small hatch look right down the bottom. Oh, throttles across the top there. We'll slam that open again as I've let us break a little bit much. Oh. Well it recovers speed is not very good at re accelerating if that makes sense. Once you've let the speed drop it uh, won't necessarily build up again. There we go. Right, we'll kill the throttle there and just let the speed build up naturally. And then we've just got to manage it. The problem with these old brakes are, unlike what you'll see in the southern trains when we drive them in a bit, on the uh, the London's Brighton one, you'll see that the brakes on this one are a lot more um, sharp and uh, more difficult to manage. With the southern train, you can manage the speed quite nicely. In the 317, I'm sure someone will correct me in the chat. Class 3, 317, is it? Class 317? Can't quite remember what it is. Lovely. Oh, oh, open up again. Open up throttle. There's Long Arch Tunnel or Long Arch Bridge, and then from there it's a quick trip back to Smallbrook. Get your votes in quick, folks. If you want to do the uh, the Quick Isle of Wight in the tube trains, which are always quite good fun, um, let me know. Democracy might be overruled in this case, as the tube trains I think are quite good fun. <laughs> and the London Brighton, we also need a whole stream for that. You know what I mean? To cover the whole line. Uh, whereas we can do the, the tube one quite quickly. So, we'll, we'll have a see. We'll have a see. Right, so here we go. We're going through the tunnel. I'll hop back inside. So, make sure firebox is closed. Blower is off. Bit of throttle open. And in we are. Quick peep of the whistle to let people know we're coming through. It'll be fine the 8th of 40 on Sunday. Oh, wow. How very good. I'm, that's, that's brilliant, actually. I, let me know how it goes, because you'll be x 12, because I'd like to know. I haven't, I've got it in x 12. I haven't flown it. I haven't had a chance to get around to it. And I'd quite like to know how good it is. Um, I've heard I've heard good things. And so, <laughs> but yeah, let us, let us know how it goes. After you finish the scenario by dropping the passing score, it will once again need to get attention. Ah, okay. They're not they're struggling to accelerate here. Up the hill, it's struggling here, the train. No. Whoop. I was struggling to the speed deck up up the hill. That's weird. Open up the firebox. We'll try and maintain speed, but it doesn't look like it's accelerating much. Will it accelerate now on a bit of flat track? Might do, might do, might not, no. Nope. It's not. <laughs> You're here and hide in the bushes and watch the train go by. Slow little track, very nice. The train, I don't know what's happening, but we're struggling. I don't know if we're going up some hill or something. The speed's coming back, and I can't bring it up again. Come on, what's going on? Put in the water, it's a bit of an awful noise, but we've got to, uh, got to get water into the engine, I think. Covering a bit of speed. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, it's building. Oh, it's building quickly now. I think we're going, just going down a hill. 
we go, shut off the water. Yep. Ah, then bring the throttle back. To 30, keep the throttle open. There we go, we're accelerating. Yay! And here we are, coming back into Smallbrook. It's been 46 minutes since we started streaming, and I tell you what, it, the scenario should take 40 minutes. It kind of has actually, so that's quite impressive. It's just gone through 57. Uh, we started our little run at about well, 20, 12 o'clock on the dot, so or slightly later then, so not bad at all. Right, kill the throttle. Let the speed start to reduce. Quite a big look at that. There's quite a big gap between the uh, the old train and the platform there. That's quite a that's quite a big gap. <laughs> that's a that's a lunge. Oh, it gets closer because we go further along. We'll keep shuffling. Right, and we'll stop there. Bit of break. There goes the brake on. Oh, there we go. It's not so bad there. It must have been further back. Look round the curve. It gets wider. A bit more of a gap down there. Nice. Right. Brakes were on. Uh, first, something will be quite short on this route. Oh, that's right. We went with me. I wonder, do we have to use the afterburners to stray through the sandbar? Or is it worth just doing a gentle, dry power climb? Shoot us up, sort of just through it. Um, in a max climb, gentle climb sort of mode. Gently bring us up through it, um, and then hold where we are. I don't know. What do you reckon? Ah. There we go. We've completed our little journey in our lovely little Invincible. That's quite quick. Right, I'll end the poll. Let's have a look. What have we got going down here? So, the poll says... Wait for the result to pop through. Has it come through in the chat? Come on, let me know. Tell you what, the thumbnail for the Concord Winter Adventure is not bad. Right, it looked like it's not loading for me, but it looked like uh, what's this? What's this one? The uh, the the the, the, the Brighton. I can tell you that uh, it's much more much more fun to um, have a little go at uh, doing the normal Iron uh, Isle of Wight. Um, so <laughs> that could be quite good fun. There you go. So we did with the what's this has been. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we'll have to shoot through and then do a big slowdown again afterwards. Um, right, don't quite want to do one that long. What can we do? You want to look at the Farmer's Branch line? Is that, is that interesting? Yep. Hold on, if I go standard. Oh, I've got to navigate through the menus here, trying to find a nice little little route for us to do that doesn't take too long. Well, how about this one? Staying for days, coming to snow. Problems could be just around the corner. That sounds quite good fun. Again in the snow. I wonder what the deal is with all the snow. So democracy has been overruled here. We're going to do a bit more of the Isle of Wight um, because it's quite good fun. We will get some time at Mac 2. Oh, okay, brilliant. Well, as long as we do that, that is quite good fun. Right, so fewer passengers due to prolonged cold weather set off for braiding when ready. Right, well, when ready, we'll get clear it off. But this is the main line. So you can see we're at Sandown. So we are over down here. So Sandown, so you can see we're sort of, that was the branch line we were doing. We're on the main line. And we're in uh, these class uh, 04 trains, which are the older uh, tube trains that were used on the London Underground. So they're quite punchy off the mark. And so they're quite good fun to drive. This is the old little cab. So I think I can do this if I'm clever. I can do this using these. Oh no. There we go. Right, bit of throttle open there. Oh, Ford selected. <laughs> there we go. Right, as you can see, they're quite, if I really open it up, look, really punchy off the mark compared to the old steam train. They are. So we'll get the lights on, a wiper on, and we'll make our way gently out of Sandown. We'll do a quick trip up and down this line. And then we'll call it a day, and I'll see you all on Sunday for a uh, flight sim stream. Back to back to what we normally do. You know, this is just a nice little train sim. Lovely, right? Oh, 15 there. I don't want to go too quick. Making our way onto the main line. Split. 
So the idea of having the two for the safety is that they can, I think, call themselves a single line track, which means they have safety uh, much lower costs. Ah, having issue at Ryan St. John's keep form has affect you. Right, we want to keep an eye on that then. There we go, speed limit's opened up. We can throttle up there. I say throttle up, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Power up, power up on a train? Right up to full there. Yeah. Good to get the speed up. The time difference is amazing, so we're going to do 1.6 miles in the steam train. It took us about 20 minutes here, it'll take, I think, quite quick. <laughs> Go, nice brakes in the pressures, miles per hour gauge there. That's uh, what's that one? Wiper and four. Oh, very cool. Yeah, very nice. 42 in a bit, and there we are, steady at uh, just under 45. Bit of brake, just hold speed. Lovely, look at that. Isn't that a nice little train to be shooting along in? Oh, speeding. Oh. Bit of brake. Get off the brake. So this mode is standard mode on trains in 2013, which allows us to... Uh, it's going to allow us to um, not have the point system. It's a bit like practice, but also with rules so and scenarios. So it's quite good. It's I, I, I think it's probably my favourite mode. It's quite good fun. Right, 42. Then we're holding nicely going through one of these old little villages. Certainly is a local little railway line, but I think people use it for getting to school quite a lot. As um, from going one end of the line, which we're about to, to the other, it's really not that uh, not that long. So that's quite nice. Forty miles an hour is quick. Oh, didn't turn the wipes on. The rain effects are very impressive, actually. Right. Does that window move? Okay, no. wipers off. Bit of braking. Bring us down to twenty miles an hour for the limit into the station. Bit of braking. Oh, I'll keep the wire prop. <laughs> There's the 20 mile an hour limit into the station. So this station, interestingly, I can't quite work it out. I think it's, yeah, so it's gotten rid of the second line. So it used to have two lines running into the two platforms into the station. Now it only has the one, and I don't know why. What I do know is it has a uh, quite a gap between the two. All right, bit of brake. Bit of brake. We're going to shoot past the end of the station there. There we go. Open the doors. Very nice. We certainly will have covered the Isle of Wight in our little trip today. And we'll do London to Brighton another day. <laughs> right, after braiding, what we're up to, we're going to St. John's, Esplan, Pierhead, then all the way back down to all these stations, back down to the other end of the line. Very nice. Right, we'll get cracking. Oh, brake's fully released. Right, we're off to the next stop, which is St. John's Road. Oh, S oh wait, St. John's Road. Three miles. Nice. There we go. 20 mile an hour limit. Quite a long 20 mile an hour limit here at the end of this station. I wonder if they, uh, wonder, wonder why. Considering coming to the other end, we sort of almost just straight away into it. Right, 20, there we go, a whole toll stationary there. A lot of crossings around here. Very cool. It's a very nice little line. I, I d you know, I'd like to uh, visit <laughs> at some point. There's the 40 there, we have to wait the whole train to pass through uh, before we can accelerate, but uh, it shouldn't be too long. Give it a second, I think when we get to the tunnel, there we go. Open it up. Stuck so we've got speed here and our speed limit there. This is the power we're using from the tracks. Time, destination. Or rather, next station stop. Lovely. Here we go. Accelerating up to 40 down the main line here. Look at that lovely bit of straight piece of track. I wonder why they have the limit as 40, not 45. 
I wonder if the train uh, should break it. From my experience, occasionally in quick drivers having um, strayed well beyond the speed limit, it uh, it won't really go much above 50 these trains, so you know it means over speeding is not too much, or going so fast your career off the track isn't really a problem. I think it's one of their major advantages for driving on a little track, the training isn't too hard. Nice little cross the bridge there, through the, the, uh, the countryside. Very good. That's full there, we're just going to scrape through 40. I'll just kill the power there. Wait till we get to the 45, which is any minute now. There's there's the sign for the oh there's ours here. Hidden on the left, right. Open it up. Let's go go go. I say that you can see the acceleration isn't much when we get up to these high speeds because the tube trains, as they are, and when they're underground, didn't really need to go much above 30 maybe. This is a very short, very short destination for us. When you put them out on the open rail like they are here, it's quite a big distance between stations. Three, three and a half miles or so is a bit more than, uh, or maybe actually pretty similar. No, a little, little bit more this one than um, than those you'd find on on the tube underground. So yeah, amazingly straight line. If we go on cabby, it stretches off into the distance. Oh, there we go. Just straight through the speed limit there. Just a bit break. Open it up again. Cut it there, just trying to hold. Hold a nice little stationary speed. Lovely. If anybody knows what that noise is, do let me know that uh, oh, yes. sort of noise that every time I release the brakes, we get it. I don't know what it is. There, that noise. Sounds like a grasshopper. I don't quite know what it is. Ah, we've got a 30 coming up here. Where's this for? Ah, we're passing through. Uh, we're passing through Small Duke Junction, actually. Ah, brilliant. So this is where we. Uh, this is where we were the other time, but on the branch line, just not too long ago. So we'll, we'll bring it. Bring the speed back down. Bringing the speed down to pass through the station. As there's no no deviation line, so we have to head straight through the station. In this case, so a bit of power there. Oh, oh, bumped around there. There we go. Right, thirty there, and shooting through. There we go. We're through the nice little station there. Small. We were of course on the other side there on that platform, and there we are heading back out to the main line. There's the forty-five limit again. Open up the throttle. And shoot on through. There we go. Back away from the station. How nice. Ah, me six has warned you, Daniel. Sorry about that. I saw that thing up there. <laughs> Feel free if you post it again. I'll, I'll just undo whatever it did. Me six, what's you doing? Get rid of that. Got rid of that message. I don't know. Uh, don't know what you're saying, but uh, do let us know. Ah, oh, you found the route. Fifth, please do send it again if you're watching still. <laughs> I'd like to see that. It's annoying. It's got a bit. Ah, and there we are. We're coming up to Wright and John's. I should have got pay attention here. Start to slow down. Ah, there's that broken train we got the warning about a while ago. Welcome to uh, Ride. This is St John's Road. There's then Ride Pier Head. 
which is slightly... F oh, no, there's Ride Espland, <laughs> and then Ride Pierhead, which barely anyone gets on at, but uh, we, we head up there anyway. Right, it's, we'll have to use the up line on the way down, which is not good, as you can get into trouble there. So, quick acceleration out, but the 20 limit is almost straight away, so I guess we'll just hover around here. Just kill the power there. I think it's downhill. How long is this route? This route should take us about another half an hour or so. Um, we're heading up to the end and then spinning round and coming back down. And then definitely on another stream, I'd like to have another go at uh, doing uh, some uh, London to Brighton routes. So <laughs> that'd be good fun. If the Discord link is working, uh, join the Discord, guys. I'll just re-upload it for everyone. There we go. There's the Discord link in the chat. I'll just pin that up. So come say hi if you're uh, if you're just popping in. We're doing a little bit of train sim for action today, and then on Sunday we got a nice normal flight sim stream. <laughs> bit of power there. We're just hovering just under 20, just over, but uh, not 21. So we're still within the limit. <laughs> so we're making our way through. We got this big tunnel here that we're going to head through. Oh oh oh! And this tunnel then pops us out rising quickly out to the far side um, but we're heading under Ride which I believe is one of the big cities or big towns rather on the Isle of Wight quite a dark little tunnel Ooh. long tunnel I think we're going under the whole town of Ride here yeah all the way look through there I think we're going under the whole town Quite a long way. Nice gentle approach into Miss Ride Espland. Pascal really does <laughs> exist. Ah. <laughs> right. Know who you are now. <laughs> Ah, no, no, from the uh, the Discord, I'm sure. Right, there we go. Back off the throttle and put on a bit of brake. Pulling into S plan there. As we really pop out from underneath that town there. Tell you what, whilst we're stopped here, I want to have a quick shoot over and have a look at the town. This is only a really quick stop. Nobody really gets on there. Right, let's have a look. So the tunnel, we head into it there. Or head out. Oh, look, yeah, so there's the tunnel. <laughs> wow. So the whole ride is all around here, look. There's that other station. We shoot through there, pop out there, and head up into the uh, into into Ride Espland, which is sort of the main station and pretty much the end of the line for everybody. But then lots of the trains, like we're about to do, shoot up to um, the pier head is a good place to turn around. Also, it's quite good fun. So let's do that indeed. Bit of power. Make our way out onto the pier head. This is quite good fun, this bit. Heading out literally over the skeleton of the pier. Amazing. This is the public walkway there, and then the two train lines. Which is pretty cool that you can get the train across <laughs> onto the pier. That's quite a cool thing. I think that's because of they were the, um, the tube trains. They were light enough to be able to do this, which is fantastic. Lovely. Ah, thanks very much, Daniel. Sorry about it blocking your message earlier. It uh, me six gets a bit argy bargy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so we're going right across Castrop. Fun. Right, bit of break there. We have got the fifteen limit coming in. I wasn't paying attention. And uh, we've crossed, crossed across. Don't I don't never want to go too quick over here. I don't want to overstress the line or whatever. And we're over the water, albeit not that deep. Quite a long pier though, we head right out onto the end. But then the effort to go to build a station. Oh, I'll tell you why, I think it's the sea ferry port for some of the um, the uh, 
what are they called? You know the ones I mean, the um Oh I forget their name every time. The uh oh, what they called? airship things. Yeah, that float along on the cushion of air, what are they called? What are they called? <laughs> I've forgotten. Uh, cat uh, no not catamaran, are they? What are they, are they? Route on this one now. Just south of Castro. Yeah, brilliant. Cool. That sounds fun. Right, well, welcome to Ride Pierhead. Our plan now is we're going to shoot all the way back down the line, doing everything we've just done. Uh, and then once we've shot back down the line, we're going to um, call it quits there. That should be about another 20 minutes or so. We'll be good fun. We'll divert it through, through to the up line through St. John's Road. Hovercraft. That's what I meant. Well done. Right, so we're going to reverse the... Uh, Reverse the direction, switch the lights round, release the brake, bit of power up and we'll go through. Right, we've been passed, approved there, I was just calling to go through the signal of danger. Looks like they've led us through, which is good. Bit of power and we're going through. Oh, 20, don't want to go too quick. I've noticed when we're driving in this cab, the acceleration is incredible compared to the other cab. <laughs> it's always quite funny. I wonder if that's like a bug of the game or whatever, but you'll notice that we really build speed rapidly. There we go. This station's cool. It is, isn't it? It's a bit of an odd station, but we're right out over the um, over the pier, on, on the end of the pier there. Ama amazing little, uh, little feat of engineering that they've managed to do. It's quite good fun. And we'll make our way back into the sort of station before, before the uh, before the sea. Bit of braking there. We're stopping back at Ride Esplanade again, so you can really see how the trains are quite frequent. If you miss one going the other direction, not too long before it comes back. <laughs> And interestingly, there's no opportunity to switch over tracks on the pier. So they will the, they go up the same line. Um, they go up the left-hand one, but then they switch normally here at, uh, at S-Planned. We'd then be going back across into the other one. So it's uh, interesting the way the way the, uh, it works. I'd be interested to be a passenger trying to get on the trains. It would be quite, quite an interesting process. Right, release the brakes. Power up. Oh, no, not that one. That one. No, not that one. Ugh. Wrong way, right, that one. There we go. <laughs> oh, right. What's that noise? So I can get rid of it. I'm just going to try and stop and get rid of it. Very annoying. <laughs> There you go, look, the train's going down now, down through the tunnel. Bit of braking there, not to let the speed creep up too much. Oh, what's that? A bus. There we go, down into the tunnel. Only problem is I can't get rid of that noise, so I do apologise. Might be stuck with that, which would be very annoying. I was talking about it earlier, and now what do you know? We're stuck with it. <laughs> do apologise. That's a very annoying noise. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see if it goes away when I stop. I think. It's some electrical thing. Oh, 
There goes the train. Meow. <laughs> Very odd about the noise, sorry about that. And there we are, pulling into John's Road. So this is that broken down train that seems to be stuck there. Not ideal. So that's, I've turned off the engine there. I still can't get rid of that sound. I'm very sorry, that's very, very annoying. Hmm. No. No, nothing, it's still going. That's quite annoying. <laughs> See, I can't seem to get rid of it. Bit of a shame. Right, accelerating back up then. Just entered a 15, I didn't see that. Whoop. Slamming the passengers around there. There we go, back up to 45. There's a little points change, sort of change of direction on the points there. Bit of a shame. Right, back up to 45, accelerating away. Cool, right. Going up, speed increasing nicely. 3.3 miles back to braiding, which is that one we stopped at a while ago. Um, so they literally are making their way back down the route, and we've switched onto the downline this time, which is the other side of the tracks. Um, but we had to do it, normally we'd have done it back at um, S planned. But we've done it down here at St John's Road because uh, we needed to get past that broken down train. Not good. There we go. Can't see any speed limits, no, because here we're on the opposite side of the tracks. I was still going through the station there. Hmm. Let's just let us go through. There we go, straight through. Lovely jubbly. Very quick little train. Very cool. Sh quick shooting down the line here. It's a very small train. Excellent <laughs> Brimbridge Airport. Oh yeah, is that where we is that where that's where we are, yeah. Isle of Wight, yeah, that's well, of course. But uh, yeah, it's there. And then it's Benbridge Airport, yeah, you're right, it's right there. <laughs> oh, cool. So, where's Ride? Ah, so we sort of go to Shanklin's, oh, so it's down, oh, not quite the full length of the Isle of Wight. I'll bring it over to the screen, just bear with me, guys. Go like but, uh, that. Then go like. Just slow down for the 40, and then we'll deal with that in a second. 
There we go. Here we are. So ride goes down. The route goes down from ride on the pier head right down Shan Sandown to Shanklin, where our stop is. Fire. How do I open up the satellite view? There. Uh, is it? Uh, what is it? Street? No. No. Aerial. That's one. Just check on here. Bit of braking. There you go. Cool. So yeah, somewhere along here. Track. Uh, hybrid. That's what it's called. Shanklin. Where's the track? Hm. Anyway, yeah, that's our little route for today. That's what we're up to. Oh, I'm over speeding. Ugh. Slam on the brakes. There we go. That's like a Victorian line train. That's yeah, yes. That is exactly what all that. What that is. I think it's it is all very Victorian. Um, using these old old trains. So we've got Sandown Two coming up. And then after Sandown 2, we make our way to Lake and then Shanklin. Shanklin is our final route for the trains. So they don't really cover the whole island, they just cover down this uh, the east coast really. Uh, but uh, a nice, uh, certainly a nice little route. Right, slowing down for the 20 mile an hour limit coming into place from there. Slowing down. Here we go, coming down through to 20. There it is. As a Victorian Island Tube. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Not quite, but uh, certainly close. They are pretty old plane, old trains. <laughs> and there we go. Gently making our way into braiding. <laughs> to be honest, I remember where we were. I think they have a long 20 because of the big gap between um, 40 previously. And because there's no electronic systems on board, we wouldn't have this screen I've got here. And so um, the drivers have got to see everything. So that long 20 coming from that direction gives them a good time to sort themselves out. There we go, open the doors and let everybody out of the train. There we go. Right, quick stop at Braiding. We're then on to Sandown next. 1.85 miles away. That's where we started our journey today. Oh, on this, on this, uh, in this train. There we go. They're all done. But accelerate back up. Quite a vicious acceleration. Sorry about that. Quick kill of the power as we head into the 45 and then open it up again. Come on, was that the next one, Actually, some of the news changed Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Are they really? Wow. Oh. Well, I'll quit looking at that. Just because of in interest. Well, they are now. Wow. They look very new now. Mm -hmm. Didn't used to be. Oh, the train is up and running with resume services, surely. Brilliant. Not really relevant, but brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, they've got brand new trains now. Wow. These are slightly older. This game was about 10 years ago. Um. So that's why. Uh, it's now they've got the class 484 coming into service. Let's have a look. They've got the class 484s replacing the um, 82 year old 483. <laughs> My goodness me. 82 year old trains these ones are. The 484 looks nice. don't know if you can see this. Oh, no, let me turn it on. That's what I'm looking at. That's our old, that's our new one, that's the old one. 
a plug socket there for. Ah, it's nice. So I flip the that looks nice. That's going to be cool when they bring that into service on the line. Not that I live there, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Next station is, this is Braiding exit for Pembridge Airport. There's a pillow line train for Sandown. Next station is Sandown comes over the other side. We've got 2009 stock on the Victoria line. Oh, wow. Oh, so the, oh, sorry, on, you mean on the actual London Underground. Yeah, sorry. When I talk about tube trains, I'm in here. But yes, no, yeah, you're right. New trains, aren't they? Yeah. Next station is Sandown. Yeah, we're on our way. Here we are, coming in. I can see it ahead of us. We don't, we don't want to jolt our passengers to start slowing down now. It's going to be a nice driver for them. It kind of could be Pillar Pilot. It's like blue, you know? It, it could be. <laughs> I need to get back into making liveries and get a new new Concorde livery up. It's been a while since we flew the Pillar Pilot Concorde livery. <laughs> I might pull that back out of the bag. That's quite good fun. Maybe if uh, maybe if I put it onto V3 actually, I do that now. I won't pull it. Victoria Line train, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, right, coming into the ten for the platform. Very slow here. I suppose it's a big junction. This place they don't want to uh, have any problems, but that's quite impressive. Oh. Let me just set the lights back up. There we go. Here we are approaching very slowly. It's a very, very slow pull into this station here. That's impressive. Oh, I don't have my livery. I wonder where I put it. Could have sworn I made it. Right, brakes, 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 brakes. There we are. Open up the doors. Kabam. Welcome along. Superb. So, quick stop here, and then we're on to our next stop of Lake. Quick shoot down the line, and then our final stop of the day into uh, into Shanklin. So. Open up power, we'll get going. Oh, right, the doors are still open. Ugh. Um, Why are they still open? Oh my goodness me. That's an odd. The game is uh, maybe, shall we say, slightly bugged. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. I wonder what was going on there. Oh, I'm speeding. Oh, okay. Oh, brakes. Oh, the limit's still 10. Goodness me. That is slow. You know, you see it here. That's, this is really slow. Right, we're coming up to 10. There's 10. Right, and there's 45, we'll shoot through. Here we go, we'll start to accelerate. Oh, I'm not speeding, but we're going up to 45. <laughs> there we go, we're going through. Sand down. You know, to tell we'll terminate there, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't terminate there. <laughs> oh, no, no, no worries, no worries. We're coming up to our termination. Two, two stops, two stops to go. Two stops. And then, and then, yes, then you're right, we are, we are then terminating. All change, please, as you say. Nice accelerate there. And we are up and away. Heading towards the lake, which is a very, very brief stop. Very short platform as well, so we've got to get the stopping quite accurate as we get into the station now. Otherwise, uh, we'll, we'll miss, so... Don't want to go too much faster than that. We'll kill the power. There's the platform up ahead of us there. We can see it just on the right side of my screen in the distance. There it is. 0 0.13 miles. We'll start to open up the brakes here. Bring ourselves to a stop. Quick journey into the lake. As I said, this is a short platform. We see this sort of out-of-town stop. 
drifting in. A oh, little bit of power. Boop, boop. Here we go. And a lake. There we go. Please mind the gap between train and platform. Make their way off. Kachoo. There we go for the doors. Out everyone gets. Quick stop on this one. And then we're on to our final destination of the day, which is uh, Shanklin. Lovely. Quite a bit of stop here. We must be slightly ahead of schedule. Oh, there we go. Doors closed. Shanklin. Off we go. M quick miles trip into Shanklin, so we'll get nice and quick. Everybody wants to get get to where they were going. Opening up the power there. Quite slow acceleration here. Lovely, you can see the speedo there. Chris Nasley. Quick peep on the horn. Get rid of those uh, wipers. And then, I thought maybe for another stream in a different time, I've got tram sim. <laughs> if we're getting into the other transits out uh, other sims outside of flight sim, then that uh, that might be the next step for yeah. us. <laughs> That'd be quite good fun. So a final stop then, uh, and so thanks so much everyone. This is only an hour and a half stream, uh, but I thought it'd be a good good little fun stream to do uh, on the Friday ahead of our big streams we do of course on the uh, on Sundays. So join me on Sunday there for our nice trip from Helsinki down to London Heathrow uh, in the Flight Factor Airbus A350. It's a flight I've done. A in real life, and uh, I'm looking forward to recreating it uh, on stream in a lovely fin air aircraft. I think they have a lovely delivery, so it could be quite good fun. There we go, right up to 40 there here, back into our, our train sim here for our final stop. We're shooting right into the heart of Shanklin here. You like trams? <laughs> well, we'll have, we'll have to try out tram sim then, won't we? That should be very good fun. Right, there it goes, off the power and onto the brakes. There we go. On the brakes there. Got to go now. See you Sunday. See you Sunday then. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Daniel. Have a nice day. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Here we go. A gentle pull into Shanklin. Welcome to Shanklin indeed. A bit more brake. Bring us to a stop. The whole train's in now, so it's just a case of getting us to the end of the line. Let it free roll in. Bit of braking there. Bit of braking. And I think we'll stop there. Lovely. Pop open the doors. And lovely. Thanks very much, everybody, uh, for, s for, for joining us. I look forward to seeing you on all on Sunday. Uh, and uh, thanks very much. See you all soon. Bye-bye.